Hey friends! Laura A. Grace here, the author of Dear Author, Letters from a Bookish Fangirl, and I am so excited to be bringing you another video! I am going to be doing a fangirl's rambling, and it will be all of the ramblings because I am spotlighting one of my favorite authors, read all of her books at least, at least twice. Yes, and today's book, it was my third time reading, and it was just as phenomenal as the very first time I read it. That said book is Illusionary by Desiree Williams, but this is actually the old cover. This here is the new cover. I love actually both of these, but man, that purple, that glitter, that just this whole effect of this cover just screams Cameron, who is our main character in Illusionary, and I love it. I love it. Oh, this, this book, guys. Oh my goodness. So I really loved Illusionary the first time that I read it, and I said, like I said, the second and the third time, and it is hard to choose one of my favorite books from one of my favorite authors because I just love her writing. Like, where do I even start? I mean, I already said I love the story, and I honestly, don't even know where to begin to share why I enjoyed this story so much. Cameron, our main character, is very relatable. I mean, the way the scene or the story starts off is like perfect. It is a great way to get into the mind of Cameron and just relate to her as a main character. And I feel like she's very whimsical. I think that's how you say that word. It's just a very playful and fun character, and but she feels so deeply. And then you have Reese who can do these things with story dust and I'm just like I need some story dust because one of the things that makes Cameron so relatable is when she thinks of what she could do with Reese's story dust in the real world and I'm just like yes yes Cam like for real that is what we would do with the story dust relatable aspect of the whole story the land of earth that probably is one of my favorite aspects or parts of this story. The word building is phenomenal. Absolutely gorgeous. This whole story world, like every place you visit is just absolutely beautiful. I really would love to go visit there because it's very colorful and just very bright. And there's just really no words to fully describe how awesome and epic the word building is. And there are so many cool little elements that come into this story. And if you don't believe me, let me read you the beginning of the blurb because it has all of those little elements in this story. Are you ready? Dorothy got sucked up a tornado. Alice fell down a hole. Wendy flew to Neverland. Cameron, she tripped down the stairs. That is absolutely perfect for this book and it has all of those little story elements woven into this really unique and beautiful story of healing and that one scene that is like the most healing scene still, still after three times made me cry. I actually wrote Desiree and I'm like, I know what's about to happen next and my brain's saying, hey, we need to go to bed, but I'm like, I need to know what happens, which it's like, we know what's going to happen. I'm like, just one more chapter. And I ended up reading like two more chapters after that. It is a transforming story and there is romance, yes, but it's not like boy saves girl, girl saves boy kind of thing. It has these themes that I just, I can't even really begin to describe, but it's so lovely and so beautiful. The word building, the characters, the story itself, all of it. So you might be like, Laura, I feel like you just rambled. And I guess that's the point of a fangirl's rambling is just to ramble about what I like. If you like Portal Fantasy, I definitely recommend checking out Illusionary. Totally let me know. Have you read Illusionary? Let me know because I can totally gush about Desiree's books like all the time, every day. She's just an amazing author and her books are equally as amazing. And I'm so, so excited to see what she is going to bring readers next. Thanks for watching. Bye!